saying that the ERG as a group were unable to collectively, collectively endorse either candidate. However, they have resolved that whoever becomes leader, uh, they will unite. Ali Fortescue, um, we've just got a head in front of camera, they could just move. Jacob Rees-Mogg coming out, Jacob Rees-Mogg today, and backing Rishi Sunak. Um, so were we going to see them coming down on one side? I think what is obvious is that they couldn't make a decision. In a sense, as I asked Mark Francois there, does that show that this is still a deeply divided party? And I think the Tories, it's hard to argue that they are not. I think that is going to be the extraordinary challenge, one of the biggest challenges for whoever takes over. Yeah, National Health Service, very much on people's minds this morning, Ali. Interesting that one of the doctors was saying to us, uh, we were chatting to him, our third health secretary in three months. How seriously is this government taking? Clear was fixing the NHS. And we know, I mean, we've all seen those extraordinary images of ambulances queuing outside hospitals. We all know that there are extraordinary any waiting times. Fixing that is not going to be easy. There's also a... Um, Ali's here. I'm not sure she answered my question. No. Well, I think she was sort of surprisingly bullish when it came to defence spending. In a sense, actually, that's not really a surprise because just a couple of months ago she was talking about the NATO target of 2% being a flaw.